och justera liksom trycker in mot oss eller? Man kan. Men det löser sig. Rulla bara fram och sen bak. Så håll i det hela tiden. Just gotta hold on all the time. This is my friend Martin. We used to work together at data center. He was a second line technician. The second line, third line stuff. Second line. Second line, Martin. Do you even second line? There were no lines there. All lines. The, all the lines, man. All the lines. This is Martin's first time on an electric unicycle. So, Martin came over to my place today. We just had a beer <laughs> to, to warm up. Uh, Martin has been doing a lot of power lifting lately. He's become strong as a bull. God damn it. God damn it. He told me years ago he would surpass me and he did. He said he had age on his side and he does. He's 40. I'm the old fart, 47. And initially when we were at my place he said he did not want to stand on this damn thing. <laughs> And I said, hey man, a beer just makes it more, more moist. <laughs> a beer will just make it juicier. So when you get to the other side over there, then put both hands on the, on the thing and rotate 180 clockwise. So here you can just rotate it. My tire is bald, so it spins beautifully. Look at that. Life goes, look, there it goes. Balance guy. To, to be able to ride, you need a bit of, a, a bit of speed, right? Okay, yeah, you need some gyro. It's like a bicycle. Nobody does a bicycle at two kilometers an hour. Well, they do, but we know what it looks like. Go wobbling all over the place. He's beginning to believe. He's Korean. We know how this works. He's Korean, man. <laughs> we know how Koreans work. They're damn good at Tekken, too. <laughs> and Starcraft. Starcraft and Tekken, man. That's what life is all about. Yes. Look at that. He said it's leg training. This is said by a power lifter. It's leg training. I would love to show you my calves, but I can't get my pants up over my calves. <laughs> And I'm sure as hell I'm dropping my pants down. <laughs> Are they gonna call the police? So today I'm gonna get insulted again because it took me two weeks to learn, but Martin is gonna learn in 30 minutes. I can already see it now. As I've said before, I'm particularly untalented. That's my special skill. <laughs> My superhero power is that everything takes me longer to learn and I have no coordination. <laughs> Persistence beats talent, exactly man, that's my life story. Well said, well said. Look at him go. So one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off those side pads so that your feet aren't locked in there. So let's take them off so you can learn to get on and get off. These pads are the side red trails. Great for jumping. Great for tricks and stuff like that. Great for off-road. Great for being locked onto the pedals. As a new rider, we don't want to be locked onto the pedals. Today I went to the skate park and I felt that my feet were a bit too far forward on the pedals and life wasn't just right and I started doing some jumps and then I did a 180 and when I did the 180 I failed the 180 so I did the 180 and I failed the 180 and I have no talent but I am persistent and I did another 180 and I failed the 180 <laughs> now eventually when I did fail the 180 at one point I fell on my ass and while I fell on my ass while I was stumbling backwards like an idiot because I decided this time I am going to stay on the wheel I fell stumbling backwards on this hand and then on my ass and man this hand took such a hit and then we're like okay i gotta keep doing my 180s because i gotta do at least five 180s and get them and it was just a bad day for 180s you know but we can't have bad days we can only have days where we do our 180s so i kept on doing it i kept on doing it and don't you think i fell again 
I fell again in the exact same way, like some kind of retarded robot, and I smacked my hand down. And this time, man, this time, I felt it right in the soul, right in the soul. So this is moist, man. This is, this is, uh, I might have to actually get some gloves with protection, because man, man, man. I did some push-ups and it's cool. I'm gonna try a muscle up, I'm gonna try a handstand and see how that goes, and see if my hand flies off. So between this hand, and this broken fingertip man life is good life is good when you see me not wearing protection in my clips and you see me sliding on on asphalt and bumping my head on on, on a curb i'm not saying to you to to not wear protection so please stop saying that stop saying that i'm promoting i'm actually doing the opposite i'm showing you what happens when you don't wear protection right damn 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 Breaking my hands and stuff, man. And Pietra falling down, and, you know, fracture here and there. And it's like, okay, now she doesn't need surgery. Great. So she, you know, in the beginning it was like she was going to need surgery and stuff. But no, no. So let's rip off these pads and we're going to do some mounting and unmounting. Do you need a helmet? No. <laughs> we're not going to do anything extreme. I have beer. You have beer. We got, we got beer, man. So now this is Martin's first time standing on a wheel without pads. Because <laughs> his first time was with pads. Now it's just with the, the soft side of the Velcro. So he's just going to feel out the wheel a bit. And then exactly. This mount to mount is great. This mount to mount. Exactly. This mount to mount. And if the wheel drops, don't you worry about it, man. I dropped it 10 times at the skate park and I dropped it so bad that actually for the first time I, I cracked it. You're gonna have to get a screwdriver in there. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's beginning to believe. Get, get like, yeah, exactly. He understands, you know, you gotta go a bit fast. You can't go riding around at two kilometers an hour doing 100 corrections per second. There, that's a good speed. That's a good speed. Nice, wow, nice. Hey, the dismount and everything, and the mount. Goddamn, goddamn. Oh, that, that was some slow, some slow balancing. So funny story, you can go to the gym next time and try to stand on a Pilates ball. Nice, look at him go, look at him go, man. Yep. Cool. Powerlifting pays off, man. What's your deadlift these days? Max, single? 195 kilos. 195 kilo deadlift, man. That's great, baby! And that's your worst lift. I think so. Yeah, your shoulder press is nuts, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koreans, master race. Damn you. Look at him go, man. Damn. Very good. Very good. So what are we drinking here today? Starker. Yeah. Swedish <laughs> beer. Look at this. Bresnak. Swedish straight out of Bresnak. Straight out of Bresnak. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out of Compton. Look at this. Oh, because I jumped up that stupid curve. I never learn, man. I never learn. But one thing I did learn today that is I could put like 12 cans of beer in this backpack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Marcus and Martin's shoulder, his elbow, almost flew off his whole entire body when he did a pull up here. Ja, det är jävligt illa. Yeah. Yeah. Jag har ju köpt så här, uh, uh, elbow wraps också. Mm. Elbow wraps, knee wraps, oh, the belt. A fucking right? robot. Yeah, Robocop, Robocop, but it's the same. It's the same in the gym. It's the same when it comes to riding. You used to weigh like 64 kilos. Uh, like 80, 82. 82 kilos. Oh my God, no wonder he looks huge. Look, he makes me look small, man. He's out angling me. Why are you out angling me? So, no muscle ups for Martin today, no. I was gonna try to try to like lift him through a through a strict muscle up, you know, just to see. But man, he did like one pull up and his elbow almost blew up. But otherwise, your body has gotten quite healthy from the heavy lifting, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. overall, it's just my elbow. It's just the elbow, Recently. man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just gonna move these beers out of the way. Trying to, trying to do our workout, there's beer all over the place. So here's the grip, right? The grip is with the fingertips here. And damn if I screw this up. Damn if I screw this up, I'm gonna hate myself for the rest of the day. And my hand survived. My hand survived, life is good, life is good. I, I've done prettier, but it wasn't, it, 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 it wasn't terrible, but I've had better. It's the beginning of the end. I was going down this hill here and the handle just flew, <laughs> just, just came off in my hand on the MSX and the MSX went rolling down the hill. Look at this man. Look at this. I'm gonna have to put it in rice and glue it. Damn man, damn. I'll make my own better handle. Thursday evening. Spending some time with Martin today. Wait for it. Yay! So we were chilling, catching up. I hadn't seen him for like three years or something. And when I was with Martin and Christopher, one of my old work colleagues, said that they were gonna go and have an after work today and that I should come. So I spent some time with Martin, chilling, blah, blah, blah. I went home and I said, okay, I'm gonna be at home, play around with my headphones, you know. Sort of like planning, what's tomorrow gonna look like? Because tomorrow is like the most important day of the year here in Sweden. It's Midsummer's Eve. It's Midsummer's Eve, man. So the line to the liquor store today, dear Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord. That was a line, man, that was a line. Midsummer's Eve is tomorrow. But today is the day before Midsummer's Eve. And tomorrow is an international holiday. Which means we gotta warm up. We gotta warm up. This is Sweden after all. We take our leisure time very seriously. So Christopher started messaging me on Instagram and stuff and I was like, okay, maybe I got some time to answer some YouTube comments. I'll just ignore all the helmet ones, but you know, I, I can maybe... Doctor? Maybe I can, you know, explain. Answer some mail, stuff like that. I was like, did I put my light on? I put my light on. And my titty lights on? My titty lights are on. Is this tunnel working? Working? Is this tunnel working? It still smells like shit in here. Some tunnels just never get clean. Yeah, so Christopher says, yeah, we're just about to order dinner. So they were like at a bar called Underbar. Wonderbar and uh, I said are you still at Wonderbar? They're like no we went to debaser. I'm like okay. He says come on we really want to see you we, we really want to see you. I'll buy you a beer. I haven't seen them for a while. 
you know, it's a Friday night, but it's a Thursday night, and it's a day before a big day, which makes that a tiny, tiny big day. The street lights aren't working, man. That means anything goes, anything goes. But then I thought, you know, yeah, it would be nice to be at home and just chill. But then I thought, but wait, I can show you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Bicycle. Yeah. Oh yeah, can I go this way? I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. Did I go this way? bridge is going to be great but I want to get to the other side I want to get to Tanto I'm gonna like take the the short way it's like a few hundred feet the short way so fast it's just brutal it's brutal especially when you've been riding around all day while your friend has been walking it's been like riding really slow really slow and now you like lean into this and it's like okay when is it gonna give up when is it gonna get give up it's like it's not gonna give up you're gonna give up you're gonna give up before this wheel gives up that's what's gonna happen Did I even entertain the thought of being at home? We should be out and about. And Paul, the crazy off-road rider, is coming to Stockholm. my Mickey Mouse ears. And without my Mickey Mouse ears, man, that's one windy ride. And I don't know if I will hear this beep, but on the other hand, I got a fresh battery, so if I end up doing, you know, 45 miles an hour on this bridge, I got other problems. Oh, I got other problems, man. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. I gotta watch out here. traffic pedestrian area Yay. was close. So, note to self, do not listen to death metal when you feel a sort of time constraint to go and meet a friend. This is, uh, this is Pula Bar, by the way. And 
nice place. They got French beer. Nom nom nom. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So now I'm back into the groove of the EXZ and the soft mode. Life is good, man. Life is good. I'm gonna get cut off here. I'm gonna get cut off here. I'm gonna get cut off here. It's like creeping, creeping, creeping to the right. You shouldn't pass people on the right, you should pass them on the left. Come your own. Tanto. Tanto. Wheelers on V10s. That's up. Gotta watch out. Oh, gotta watch out for seagulls. But gotta watch out. Uh, there are usually cops here. It was rather empty. I guess it's too early. There are usually cops here when there's a lot of people here. But, you know. And then you gotta mop it on a scooter. Or three muppets on three scooters. And we'll see how this works out. They're there. It's cracking. You have a mic. Some of this time. All right, y'all got. So here we are. Hey, Christopher. Best looking, best looking guy at data centers. I hope. I hope. Since I stopped working there. I'm smiling. I love this, yes, me. So these are my old work colleagues. Are really cool guys to hang out with. And here we are. The Aperol Spritz. Aperol Spritz 2021. That's good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, pretty quiet night. The the day before mayhem, right? Yeah, this is the warm-up. This is a warm-up. What what will you do tomorrow? What am I going to do tomorrow? Yeah, if you say the, the day before. Who's oh, no, you? For, for me, uh, I'm civilized. I'm civilized. Are you sure that you <laughs> What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, I, I have no clue. L last year, when I was spending time with the, the people I was spending time with, tomorrow I drank uh, moonshine. So moonshine. Yeah, that moonshine. Was. I'm going to overlay this part now with where did you come from? Where did you come from? <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. indeed. Yeah. Stop being so intelligent. Yeah. So, have you ever heard about these uh, Midsummer Blues? No, oh, what's a Midsummer Blues? It when sounds like you, a joint. When, when you offer <laughs> people to the gods. Oh, yeah. I saw a movie. Yeah. yeah it was called Midsummer. It was a, a sort of like a horror movie. Things yeah. got dark. Really but, 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 Mike, the, uh, as you were to, uh, married to a Polish woman before, didn't you drink Bimber? No. Have you ever drink Bimber? No. <laughs> Really? What the hell is Bimber? Bimber is uh, is actually moonshine. Oh. Oh, yeah. so you have. No. <laughs> you you not not really? realizing. Oh, okay. I I I have had the Sweden variant, half grand. Yeah, but it is the same thing. It's the so same it thing. doesn't okay. matter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Look at that sunset. It's amazing. The orange. It's orange actually orange. beautiful. And. Uh, Actually, I will ask these guys about an apple squeeze and buy beer for you. Uh, uh, yeah. I still got half my beer left. Uh, oh, do do double beer. double That's drink beer. with me oh. and Andre. Double dip. With Christopher <laughs> and Andre. Tonight they're double dipping. Yeah. <laughs> Never be sweeter. Never Experience be sweeter. knows the way. Oh, Jeez, man. Stairs, my nemesis. Now what? Oh, EXN. Such a great wheel, man. Such a great wheel. And look at this. A ramp. A ramp. Life is great. I could be riding up this ramp. But, uh, Why am I not even riding are, up this ramp? Are you like ride up this, this one here? Yeah. Or is it steep? No, it's not too steep. It's not steep. I, I've sucked steeper dicks in my day. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the angle. Oh. Yeah, Mick Joe. Yeah, Mick Joe. Should we let him loose? Ah, okay. Look at that beautiful sky. 
Look at that beautiful sky. And look at this beautiful guy. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. <laughs> Tastes like, like raisins. Before you'll be in Yeah. It's good upstairs, man. It's good upstairs. Can't complain. Can't complain about this view. Cannot complain. Cannot complain. Eleven PM, man. Eleven PM. Crazy. Crazy. Sunset was at 8 minutes past 10 p.m. today. Sunrise is at 3.30. The longest day was four days ago. So yeah, it's something. Shit hole. That's beat by.